Welcome back or welcome if you're new here. My name is Maddie. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is so exciting. I am leaving for Europe in two days. Ronnie and I and his work partner are going to Europe for a week. They have a work event and I got to go. So I'm so excited. I'm a little panicked because I'm traveling in a carry on on a personal item. The first thing I always do is I, I start looking for inspo. So I'll put my Pinterest right here. I've been collecting inspo for over two months now. And then I write down every outfit I need. So basically each day I need two outfits, one for the daytime and one for dinner, I'm not even worrying about working out. And then I kind of get in my closet and I'll kind of take you through my thought process on where I start, especially if I cannot bring a lot because you can easily start to pack way too much. We have to mix and match pieces, which is going to be kind of an interesting little feat. So let's get into it. Let's go grab my suitcase and my personal item that I bought that I'm going to be taking with me. Also, I always have something on the TV. I'm watching SVU right now. It's kind of a mess in here. It used to be super organized, but this is basically all of our packing stuff, all of my tote bags, everything like that. Okay, we have my away carry-on and I always put the cute little... I have two options for Ronnie. I have the Samsonite black one that I probably got at like Marshalls and then this Dorsey one that I actually won in a giveaway. For my personal item, I'm gonna do this long shot bag because it's got the strap and then I can easily shove it under a seat. So I think this will be nice. Also very important, I pulled all of my beauty products out days before I leave and keep using it on my counter so I know what's missing. Also, I got them here in Omega bags that I'm gonna to take to Europe with me. This first one's from Lily and Bean, and I've always loved the Louis Vuitton travel case, but I've never wanted to spend like $900 for it. So this one is what I got. It's so cute. It's got my initials on it, and then it's just very luxe. So I'm gonna put all of my makeup in here because I love how it opens. And then Neely and Chloe has amazing, so cute travel essentials, and they sent me these cute little clear ones, and I love clear bags. I think in this one, I'm gonna put like all of my need to grab like mini toothbrush just different things that i would need when i'm on the flight so i just know i need to grab this and then this one i think i might put some sunglasses in i don't think i'm going to take too many pairs of sunglasses and i feel like this is a good size okay let's get to the clothes because of the weather i'm going to start with coats i really can only pack maybe one maybe two well i have to pack one but i have to make sure that every single outfit goes with the coat at least some in some fashion so i'm going to go grab some coats that i think will work The next thing I'm gonna grab, it feels a little bit backwards, but I'm gonna do shoes. I really wanna bring like max three or four pairs of shoes that even feels like a lot, but I'm gonna put out some that I know for a fact I have to bring like sneakers. That's all I could pull. I really need to, I think I need to do outfits. I need six day outfits and six night outfits because I'm I always am someone who changes for dinner. So I'm gonna try on a ton of stuff. I'll show you guys kind of the outfits that I'm planning. The tricky part is they have to mix and match. Okay, I'm exhausted. I had to try on everything because I didn't know if it would fit over the cast and I wanted to make sure it would fit comfortably or else it was kind of a waste of space. Everything that fits that would make sense for me to bring is currently on my bed. It looks worse before it looks better because now I'm gonna organize and, and make sure everything kind of goes together. 45. Okay, it is Tuesday night. I've been packing kind of all day. I'm gonna show you what I have. I'm waiting on one package from Revolve with a ton of sweaters that I think I'm gonna bring. So I'm waiting on that to put, like to sign, seal, and deliver everything. But I'm gonna show you kind of the progress that I made and how I pack. In an ideal world, I'd love to take a picture of all the outfits on. I'm actually gonna take a picture of them separately and then put that in my notes app. I'm just, I don't have enough time to try everything on. But I will kind of show you what, I'm, what I've got going. These are the pairs of shoes that I'm bringing in my suitcase and I'm gonna wear my Isabel Morant ones on the plane. My Chanel belly flats, these Mark Fisher loafers that are burgundy, so they kind of add like a little fun flair to the outfit. I wish I had like black pointed toe shoes and I don't, so I'm bringing these Mark Fisher white ones that I can wear with like pantyhose and stuff, like tights. This is where I have all the clothes and they're all gonna be kind of mixed and matched with each other, but on the top are all of my like daytime outfits 
And then the bottom are all of like anything that could work for nighttime. So I'm gonna take a picture of like, say for example, these jeans and this top together, just like laying out on my bed. So I know that those go together, but also these jeans and the top under it also go together, stuff like that. I'm bringing two pairs of jeans, one like sweater dress, one skirt, and then like a blazer and different things and t-shirts that can kind of be mixed and match. So that's kind of where that's at. In terms of jewelry, I like to bring just kind of a ton of different stuff. My friends here got me this cute little Mark and Graham jewelry case when I got engaged and this is what I'm gonna take. Now we're in the bathroom, but I'm gonna show you what I packed. I kind of already accidentally packed it all. Here's that makeup case from Lillian Bean and this is all of my makeup. This came in like a nude sticks PR package, but it honestly is really good storage and it can be laid out really nicely on like any surface. So I'm doing this. All of my skincare is right here. I have all of my Zio skin travel products that I've been using, tanner, sunscreen, I've been trying this. Um, it's supposed to be like a filler almost, like Botox in a bottle. And then just, yeah, everything, everything there. And then this is like soaps, random stuff, and then all of my contacts. And then all of this is really gonna be like my hair stuff and then my makeup wipes just fit in there. So I bring my GHG straightener and then I got a beach waver. My mother-in-law got me this when I hurt my wrist and it honestly is really helpful. So I'm gonna be bringing this. Okay, it is Wednesday, we leave in a couple hours. Last night was really stressful, today was really stressful. I'm a little nervous that our personal items might be a little too big. I think they're still gonna let us carry them, but I'm just gonna pray for the best. If we buy anything, I have no idea what we're gonna do. Might just have to ship it, I, I don't know. So that's gonna be stressful, but it's fine. I just always get so anxious like flying. I'm wearing a blazer and I'm wearing a coat over a blazer while we walk onto the plane so that they can't say anything. And then I fit everything in my carry-on. We're still gonna like my outfits. They're all gonna be still really cute, I promise. It's just with the shoes and, and everything, it just takes up a lot of space. So let me show you what I did. Before I show you mine, this is Ronnie's, he's doing a carry-on and then I got really worried that the duffel back there was gonna be too big so I made him switch into this. and. He had to let go of a pair of shoes, but I think it's gonna be better. That way we just don't have to check anything on accident. I'm not gonna kind of show you what I did. That's my cast cover that I have to use when I shower because everything's like packed pretty neatly in here, but I honestly did not use. I used a couple packing cubes and I rolled all of my sweaters and everything in here. The packing cubes just bulked up too high. I think they might be good for like I don't know, like a bigger suitcase, but they just did not work with this. Here's the blazer that I'm gonna wear on and pray to God I spilled nothing on. I'll probably just shove it back in here. I'm gonna like somehow put this little guy in my back. Um, I'm waiting for a couple things to dry and then I'm fitting them in here. It's like all my socks. And then in here I have like my Chanel flats, my makeup, an umbrella, which I might end up taking out, I don't know. And then, I ended up moving everything, like all my medicine, everything I need for the flight in here. I think this is gonna work as a personal item. Like that would totally fit under the seat in front of me. So I think that's gonna be okay. I still have to fit my laptop, but I think we're gonna be okay. They're just, they tend to be a lot pickier on your personal item and what you're checking, all that kind of stuff on an international flight. And I kind of forgot about that. So we had a bit of a moment of panic, but it's gonna work. This is what I'm wearing, this Anina Bing t-shirt, these like row galapant dupes from Zara, and then my sneakers. Okay, we did it, barring any issues, which I'm sure there will be, but it's okay. We're going to London, it's in Europe, it's gonna be so fun. But I'm gonna go try to edit this so I can get it out to you guys today. But anyways, love you guys, I will see you in Europe.